Cristiano Ronaldo club career. Sporting CP At age 16, Ronaldo was promoted from Sporting's youth team by first team manager Laszlo Bologna, who was impressed with his dribbling. He subsequently became the first player to play for the club's under-16, under-17 and under-18 teams, the B team, and the first team, all within a single season. A year later, on October 7, 2002, Ronaldo made his debut in the Primera Liga, against Morenci, and scored two goals in their 3-0 win. Over the course of the 2002-03 season, his representatives suggested the player to Liverpool manager Gerard Houllier and Barcelona president Juan Laporta. Manager Arsene Wenger, who was interested in signing the winger, met with him at Arsenal's grounds in November to discuss a possible transfer. Manchester United manager Alex Ferguson, however, determined to acquire Ronaldo on a permanent move urgently, after Sporting defeated United 3-1 at the inauguration of the Estadio José Alvalade in August 2003. Initially, United had just planned to sign Ronaldo and then loan him back to Sporting for a year. Having been impressed by him, however, the Manchester United players urged Ferguson to sign him. After the game, Ferguson agreed to pay Sporting £12.24 million for what he considered to be one of the most exciting young players he had ever seen. A decade after his departure from the club, in April 2013, Sporting honoured Ronaldo by selecting him to become their 100,000th member. Manchester United 2003-07, Development and Breakthrough Ronaldo became Manchester United's first ever Portuguese player when he signed before the 2003-04 season. His transfer fee of £12.24 million made him, at the time, the most expensive teenager in English football history. Although he requested the number 28, his number at Sporting, he received the number 7 shirt, which had previously been worn by such United players as George Best, Eric Cantona, and David Beckham. Wearing the number 7 became an extra source of motivation for Ronaldo. A key element in his development during his time in England proved to be his manager, Alex Ferguson, of whom he later said, He's been my father in sport, one of the most important and influential factors in my career. Ronaldo made his debut in the Premier League in a 4-0 home victory over Bolton Wanderers on August 16, 2003, receiving a standing ovation when he came on as a 60th-minute substitute for Nicky Butt. His performance earned praise from George Best, who hailed it as undoubtedly the most exciting debut he had ever seen. Ronaldo scored his first goal for Manchester United with a free kick and a 3-0 win over Portsmouth on 1 November. Three other league goals followed in the second half of the campaign, the last of which came against Aston Villa on the final day of the season, a match in which he also received his first red card. Ronaldo ended his first season in English football by scoring the opening goal in United's 3-0 victory over Millwall in the FA Cup final, earning his first trophy. At the start of 2005, Ronaldo played two of his best matches of the 2004-05 season, producing a goal and an assist against Aston Villa and scoring twice against rivals Arsenal. He played the full 120 minutes of the decisive match against Arsenal in the FA Cup final which ended in a goalless draw, and scored his attempt in the lost penalty shootout. He scored Manchester United's 1,000th Premier League goal on 29th of October, their only strike in a 4-1 loss to Middlesbrough. Midway through the season, in November, he signed a new contract which extended his previous deal by two years to 2010. Ronaldo won his second trophy in English football, the Football League Cup, after scoring the third goal in United's 4-0 final victory over Wigan Athletic. During his third season in England, Ronaldo was involved in several incidents. He had a one-match ban imposed on him by UEFA for a one-fingered gesture towards Benfica fans, and was sent off in the Manchester Derby, a 3-1 defeat, for kicking Manchester City's former United player Andy Cole. Ronaldo clashed with a teammate, striker Ruud van Nistelrooy, who took offence at the winger's showboating style of play. Following the 2006 FIFA World Cup, in which he was involved in an incident where club teammate Wayne Rooney was sent off, Ronaldo publicly asked for a transfer, lamenting the lack of support he felt he had received from the club over the incident. United, however, denied the possibility of him leaving the club. Although his World Cup altercation with Rooney resulted in Ronaldo being booed throughout the 2006-07 season, it proved to be his breakout year, as he broke the 20-goal barrier for the first time and won his first Premier League title. 
An important factor in this success was his one-to-one -one training by first-team coach René Muelenstein, who taught him to make himself more unpredictable, improve his teamwork, call for the ball, and capitalize on goal-scoring opportunities rather than waiting for the chance to score the aesthetically pleasing goals for which he was already known. He scored three consecutive braces at the end of December, against Aston Villa, a victory which put United on top of the league, Wigan Athletic, and Reading. Ronaldo was named the Premier League Player of the Month in November and December, becoming only the third player to receive consecutive honors. 2007-09, Collective and Individual Success at the quarter-final stage of the 2006-07 UEFA Champions League, Ronaldo scored his first-ever goals in the competition, finding the net twice in a 7-1 victory over Roma. He subsequently scored four minutes into the first semi-final leg against Milan, which ended in a 3-2 win, but was marked out of the second leg as United lost 3-0 at the San Siro. He also helped United reach the FA Cup final, but the decisive match against Chelsea ended in a 1-0 defeat. Ronaldo scored the only goal in the Manchester Derby on May 5, 2007, his 50th goal for the club, as Manchester United claimed their first Premier League title in four years. As a result of his performances, he amassed a host of personal awards for the season. He won the Professional Footballers Association's Players Player, Fans Player, and Young Player of the Year awards, as well as the Football Writers Association's Footballer of the Year award becoming the first player to win all four main PFA and FWA honours. His club wages were concurrently upgraded to £120,000 a week, £31 million total, as part of a five-year contract extension with United. Ronaldo scored a total of 42 goals in all competitions during the 2007-08 season, his most prolific campaign during his time in England. He missed three matches after headbutting a Portsmouth player at the start of the season, an experience he said taught him not to let opponents provoke him. At the end of 2007, Ronaldo was named runner-up to Kaká for the Ballon d'Or, and came third, behind Kaká and Lionel Messi, in the running for the FIFA World Player of the Year award. Ronaldo scored his first and only hat-trick for Manchester United in a 6-0 win against Newcastle United on January 12, 2008 bringing United up to the top of the Premier League table. A month later, on 19th of March, he captained United for the first time in a home win over Bolton, and scored both goals of the match. His second goal was his 33rd of the campaign, which bettered George Best's total of 32 goals in the 1967-68 season, thus setting the club's new single-season record by a midfielder. His 31 league goals earned him the Premier League Golden Boot, as well as the European Golden Shoe which made him the first winger to win the latter award. In the knockout stage of the Champions League, Ronaldo scored the decisive goal against Lyon, which helped United advance to the quarterfinals 2-1 on aggregate, and, while playing as a striker, scored with a header in the 3-0 aggregate victory over Roma. United advanced to the final against Chelsea in Moscow, where, despite his opening goal being negated by an equaliser and his penalty being saved in the shootout, Manchester United emerged victorious. As the Champions League top scorer, Ronaldo was named the UEFA Club Footballer of the Year. He additionally received the PFA Players Player of the Year and FWA Footballer of the Year awards for the second consecutive season. As rumors circulated of Ronaldo's interest in moving to Real Madrid, United filed the tampering complaint with governing body FIFA over Madrid's alleged pursuit of their player, but they declined to take action. FIFA president Sepp Blatter asserted that the player should be allowed to leave his club, describing the situation as modern slavery. Despite Ronaldo publicly agreeing with Blatter, he remained at United for another year. Ahead of the 2008-09 season, on 7th of July, he underwent ankle surgery, which kept him out of action for 10 weeks. Following his return, he scored his 100th goal in all competitions for United with the first of two free kicks in a 5-0 win against Stoke City on 15th of November which meant he had now scored against all 19 opposition teams in the Premier League at the time. At the close of 2008, Ronaldo helped United win the FIFA Club World Cup in Japan, assisting the final winning goal against Liga de Quito and winning the silver ball in the process. He subsequently became United's first Ballon d'Or winner since George Best in 1968, and the first Premier League player to be named the FIFA World Player of the Year. His match-winning goal in the second leg against Porto, a 40-yard strike, earned him the inaugural FIFA Puskas Award, presented by FIFA in recognition of the best goal of the year, he later called it the best goal he had ever scored.
United advanced to the final in Rome, where he made little impact in United's 2-0 defeat to Barcelona. Ronaldo ended his time in England with nine trophies, as United claimed their third successive Premier League title and a Football League Cup. He finished the campaign with 26 goals in all competitions, 16 goals fewer than the previous season, in four more appearances. His final ever goal for Manchester United came on May 10, 2009 with a free kick in the Manchester Derby at Old Trafford. Real Madrid 2009-13, World Record Transfer in La Liga Championship Ahead of the 2009-10 season, Ronaldo joined Real Madrid for a world record transfer fee at the time, of £80 million, pounds, 94 million euros. His contract, which ran until 2015, was worth €11 million euros per year and contained a €1 billion euros buyout clause. At least 80,000 fans attended his presentation at the Santiago Bernabeu, surpassing the 25-year record of 75,000 fans who had welcomed Diego Maradona at Napoli. Since club captain Raul already wore the number 7, the number Ronaldo wore at Manchester United, Ronaldo received the number 9 shirt, which was presented to him by former Madrid player Alfredo Di Stefano. Ronaldo made his debut in La Liga on August 29, 2009, against Deportivo La Coruña, and scored from the penalty spot in Madrid's 3-2 home win. He scored in each of his first four league fixtures with the club, the first Madrid player to do so. His first Champions League goals for the club followed with two free kicks in the first group match against Zurich. His strong start to the season, however, was interrupted when he suffered an ankle injury in October while on international duty, which kept him sidelined for seven weeks. A week after his return, he received his first red card in Spain in a match against Almeria. Midway through the season, Ronaldo placed second in the running for the Ballon d'Or in the FIFA World Player of the Year award behind Lionel Messi of Barcelona, Madrid's historic rivals. He finished the campaign with 33 goals in all competitions, including a hat-trick in a 4-1 win against Mallorca on May 5, 2010, his first in the Spanish competition. His first season at Real Madrid ended trophyless. Following Raúl's departure, Ronaldo was handed the number 7 shirt for Real Madrid before the 2010-11 season. His subsequent return to his Ballon d'Or winning form was epitomized when, for the first time in his career, he scored four goals in a single match during a 6-1 round against Racing Santander on 23rd of October. His haul concluded a goal-scoring run of six consecutive matches, three in La Liga, one in the Champions League, and two for Portugal, totaling 11 goals, the most he had scored in a single month. Ronaldo subsequently scored further hat-tricks against Athletic Bilbao, Levante, Villarreal, and Malaga. Despite his performance, he failed to make the podium for the inaugural FIFA Ballon d'Or at the end of 2010. During the historical series of four Clásicos against rivals Barcelona in April 2011, Ronaldo scored twice to equal his personal record of 42 goals in all competitions in a single season. Although he failed to find the net during Madrid's eventual elimination in the Champions League semi-finals, he equalized from the penalty spot in the return league game and scored the match-winning goal in the 103rd minute of the Copa del Rey final, winning his first trophy in Spain. Over the next two weeks, Ronaldo scored another four-goal haul against Sevilla, a hat-trick against Haytafe, and a brace of free kicks against Villarreal taking his league total to 38 goals, which equaled the record for most goals scored in a season held by Telmo Zara and Hugo Sanchez. His two goals in the last match of the season, against Almeria, made him the first player in La Liga to score 40 goals. In addition to the Pichichi Trophy, Ronaldo consequently won the European Golden Shoe for a second time, becoming the first player to win the award in two different leagues. He ended his second season at Real Madrid with a total of 53 goals in all competitions. During the following campaign, the 2011-12 season, Ronaldo surpassed his previous goal-scoring feats to achieve a new personal best of 60 goals across all competitions. His 100th goal for Real Madrid came at Camp Nou in the Supercopa de España, though Barcelona claimed the trophy 5-4 on aggregate. He regained a place on the FIFA Ballon d'Or podium, as runner-up to Messi, after scoring hat-tricks against Real Zaragoza, Rio Baicano, Malaga, Osasuna and Sabia, the last of which put Madrid on top of the league by the season's midway point. Despite two goals from Ronaldo, 
Madrid were subsequently defeated by Barcelona 4-3 on aggregate in the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey. He again scored twice, including a penalty, in the Champions League semi-finals against Bayern Munich, resulting in a 3-3 draw, but his penalty kick in the shootout was saved by Manuel Neuer, leading to Madrid's elimination. Ronaldo found greater team success in the league, as he helped Real Madrid win their first La Liga title in four years, with a record 100 points. Following a hat-trick against Levante, further increasing Madrid's lead over Barcelona, he scored his 100th league goal for Madrid in a 5-1 win over Real Sociedad on March 24, 2012, a milestone he reached in just 92 matches across three seasons, breaking the previous club record held by Ferenc Puskas. Another hat-trick in the Madrid derby against Atletico Madrid brought his total to 40 league goals, equaling his record of the previous season. On 21 April Ronaldo scored the winner in a 2-1 victory over Barcelona at the Camp Nou, which saw him mocking the hostile crowd with a calm-down gesture during his goal celebration, he would repeat this gesture at the same venue four years later during another goal celebration. His final league goal of the campaign, against Mallorca, took his total to 46 goals, four short of the new record set by Messi, and earned him the distinction of being the first player to score against all 19 opposition teams in a single season in La Liga. Ronaldo began the 2012-13 season by lifting the Supercopa de España, his third trophy in Spain. With a goal in each leg by the Portuguese, Madrid won the Spanish Super Cup on away goals following a 4-4 aggregate draw against Barcelona. Although Ronaldo publicly commented that he was unhappy with a professional issue within the club, prompted by his refusal to celebrate his 150th goal for Madrid, his goal-scoring rate did not suffer. After netting a hat-trick, including two penalties, against Deportivo La Coruña, he scored his first hat-trick in the Champions League in a 4-1 victory over Ajax. Four days later, he became the first player to score in six successive Clásicos when he hit a brace in a 2-2 draw at Camp Nou. His performances in 2012 against Ronaldo voted second in the running for the FIFA Ballon d'Or, finishing runner-up to four-time winner Messi. 2013-15 Consecutive FIFA Ballon d'Or wins in La Decima Following the 2012-13 winter break, Ronaldo captained Real Madrid for the first time in an official match, scoring a brace to lift 10-man Madrid to a 4-3 victory over Real Sociedad on 6 January. He subsequently became the first non-Spanish player in 60 years to captain Madrid in El Clásico on 30 January, a match which also marked his 500th club appearance. Three days prior, he had scored his 300th club goal as part of a perfect hat-trick against Haytafe. Following hat-tricks against Celta Vigo and Sevilla, he scored his 200th goal for Real Madrid on 8 May in a 6-2 win against Malaga, reaching the landmark in 197 games. He helped Madrid reach the Copa del Rey final by scoring a brace in El Clásico, which marked the sixth successive match at Camp Nou in which he had scored, a Real Madrid record. In the final, he headed the opening goal of an eventual 2-1 defeat to Atletico Madrid, but was shown a straight red card in the 114th minute for violent conduct. Real Madrid also failed to defend their La Liga title, finishing runners-up to Barcelona. In the first knockout round of the Champions League, Ronaldo faced his former club Manchester United for the first time. After scoring the equaliser in a 1-1 draw at the Santiago Bernabeu, he scored the match-winning goal in a 2-1 victory at Old Trafford, his first return to his former home ground. He did not celebrate scoring against his former club as a mark of respect. Ronaldo scored three goals in Madrid's 5-3 aggregate victory over Galatasaray to see them advance to the semi-finals. He scored Madrid's only goal in the 4-1 away defeat to Borussia Dortmund, but failed to increase his side's 2-0 victory in the second leg, as they were eliminated at the semi-final stage for the third consecutive year. Ronaldo had scored 12 goals, finishing as the Champions League top goal scorer for a second time in his career. Accounting for all competitions, he ended the season with a total of 55 goals. Real Madrid's failure to win major silverware and reports of division among the players prompted speculation regarding Ronaldo's future at the club. At the start of the 2013-14 season, however, he signed a new contract that extended his stay by three years to 2018 
with a salary of 17 million euros net, making him briefly the highest paid player in football. He was joined at the club by winger Gareth Bale, whose world record transfer fee of 100 million euros surpassed the fee Madrid had paid for Ronaldo four years prior. Together with striker Karim Benzema, they formed an attacking trio popularly dubbed BBC, an acronym of Bale, Benzema, and Cristiano and a play off the name of the public service broadcaster. After enjoying a strong goal-scoring run during the first half of the campaign, Ronaldo suggested that he was in the best form of his career. By late November, he had scored 32 goals from 22 matches played for both club and country, including hat-tricks against Galatasaray, Sevilla, Real Sociedad, Northern Ireland, and Sweden. He ended 2013 with a total of 69 goals in 59 appearances, his highest year-end goal tally. His efforts earned him the FIFA Ballon d'Or, an amalgamation of the Ballon d'Or and the FIFA World Player of the Year award, for the first time in his career. Concurrently with his individual achievements, Ronaldo enjoyed his greatest team success in Spain to date, as he helped Real Madrid win La Decima, their 10th European Cup. In the knockout phase of the competition, he scored a brace in each leg of a 9-2 aggregate win against Schalke 04, helping Madrid advance to the quarterfinals. His goal in a 3-0 home win over Borussia Dortmund, his 100th Champions League match, took his total for the season to 14 goals, equaling the record Messi had set two years before. After hitting a brace in a 4-0 defeat of Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena, he scored from the penalty spot in the 120th minute of the 4-1 final victory over Atletico Madrid becoming the first player to score in two European Cup finals for two different winning teams. His overall performance in the final was subdued as a result of patellar tendonitis and related hamstring problems, which had plagued him in the last months of the campaign. Ronaldo played the final against medical advice, later commenting, In your life you do not win without sacrifices and you must take risks. As the Champions League top goal scorer for the third time, with a record 17 goals, he was named the UEFA Best Player in Europe. In the Copa del Rey, Ronaldo helped Madrid reach the final by scoring a brace of penalties against Atletico Madrid at the Vicente Calderón, the first of which meant he had now scored in every single minute of a 90-minute football match. His continued issues with his knee and thigh caused him to miss the final, where Real Madrid defeated Barcelona 2-1 to claim the trophy. While Madrid were less successful in La Liga, finishing third, Ronaldo was unmatched as a goal scorer. He scored 31 goals in 30 league games, which earned him the Pichichi in the European Golden Shoe, receiving the latter award jointly with Liverpool striker Luis Suarez. Among his haul was his 400th career goal, in 653 appearances for club and country, which came with a brace against Celta Vigo on 6th of January. He dedicated his goals to compatriot Eusebio, who had died two days before. A last-minute, back-heel volley scored against Valencia on 4th of May, his 50th goal in all competitions, was recognized as the best goal of the season by the Liga de Futebol Profesional, which additionally named Ronaldo the best player in La Liga. During the next campaign, the 2014-15 season, Ronaldo set a new personal best of 61 goals in all competitions, starting with both goals in Real Madrid's 2-0 victory over Sevilla in the UEFA Super Cup. He subsequently achieved his best-ever goal-scoring start to a league campaign, with a record 15 goals in the first eight rounds of La Liga, including a four-goal haul against Elche and hat-tricks against Deportivo La Coruña and Athletic Bilbao. His record 23rd hat-trick in La Liga scored against Celta Vigo on 6th of December, made him the fastest player to reach 200 goals in the Spanish league, as he reached the milestone in only his 178th game. After lifting the FIFA Club World Cup with Madrid in Morocco, again winning the silver ball, Ronaldo received a second successive FIFA Ballon d'Or, joining Johan Cruyff, Michel Platini, and Marco van Basten as a three-time Ballon d'Or winner. 2015-17 all-time Real Madrid top scorer in La Undecima. Following the winter break, Ronaldo's form faltered, concurrently with a decline in performance by his team. A 2-1 defeat against Valencia in the first match of 2015, despite his opening goal, ended Real Madrid's Spanish record-winning streak of 22 matches in all competitions. Their season continued unsuccessfully as they failed to win a major trophy, earning a second-place league finish and a semi-final exit in Europe. In the latter competition, Ronaldo extended his run of scoring away to a record 12 matches with his strike in a 2-0 win against Schalke 04, before hitting a brace in the 3-4 return defeat that allowed Madrid to progress to the quarterfinals.
He then scored both of his side's goals in the semi-finals against Juventus, where Madrid were eliminated 2-3 on aggregate. With 10 goals, he finished the campaign as top scorer for a third consecutive season, alongside Messi and Neymar. In La Liga, where Madrid finished second, Ronaldo went on a prolific goal-scoring run towards the very end of the season. For the first time in his career, he scored five goals in one game, including an eight-minute hat-trick, in a 9-1 rout of Granada on 5 April. His 300th goal for his club followed three days later in a 2-0 win against Rio Baicano. Subsequent hat-tricks against Sevilla, Espanyol, and Hetafe took his number of hat-tricks for Real Madrid to 31, surpassing the Stefano's club record of 28 trebles. As a result, Ronaldo finished the season with 48 goals, two ahead of his total in the 2011-12 season, despite having missed two matches in February for assaulting a Cordoba player. In addition to his second consecutive Pichichi, he won the European Golden Shoe for a record fourth time. At the start of his seventh season at Real Madrid, the 2015-16 campaign, Ronaldo became the club's all-time top scorer, first in the league and then in all competitions. His five-goal haul in a 6-0 away win over Espanyol on 12 September took his tally in La Liga to 230 goals in 203 games, surpassing the club's previous record holder, Raúl. A month later, on 17 October, he again surpassed Raúl when he scored the second goal in a 3-0 defeat of Levante at the Bernabeu to take his overall total for the club to 324 goals. Ronaldo also became the all-time top scorer in the Champions League with a hat-trick in the first group match against Shakhtar Donetsk, having finished the previous season level with Messi on 77 goals. A brace against Malmo FF, scoring in a 2-0 away win on 30 September, saw him reach the milestone of 500 career goals for both club and country. He subsequently became the first player to score double figures in the competition's group stage, setting the record at 11 goals, including another four-goal haul against Malmo. Despite finishing runner-up to Messi for the FIFA Ballon d'Or, Ronaldo received criticism for his form and performances against top teams, with 14 of his goals coming against Espanyol and Malmo. However, during the second half of the season, his form gradually improved. By scoring four goals in a 7-1 home win over Celta de Vigo on March 5, 2016, Ronaldo arrived at 252 goals in La Liga to become the competition's second-highest scorer in history behind Messi. After netting the match-winning goal for 10-man Madrid in a 2-1 Clásico victory on 2 April, he scored a hat-trick against the UFL Wolfsburg to send his club into the Champions League semi-finals despite a 2-0 first-leg defeat. The treble took his tally in the competition to 16 goals, making him the top scorer for the fourth consecutive season, and the fifth overall. Suffering apparent fitness issues, Ronaldo gave a poorly received performance in the final against Atletico Madrid, in a repeat of the 2014 final, though his penalty in the subsequent shootout secured La Undecima, Madrid's 11th victory. For the sixth successive year, he ended the season having scored more than 50 goals across all competitions. For his efforts during the season, he received the UEFA Best Player in Europe award for a second time. Ronaldo missed Real Madrid's first three matches of the 2016-17 season, including the 2016 UEFA Super Cup against Sevilla, as he continued to rehabilitate the knee injury he suffered against France in the final of Euro 2016. On 15 September, Ronaldo did not celebrate his late free-kick equalizer against Sporting CP in the Champions League, with Ronaldo stating post-match, they made me who I am. On 6 November, Ronaldo signed a new contract set to keep him with Madrid until 2021. On 19 November, he scored a hat-trick in a 3-0 away win against Atletico Madrid, making him the all-time top scorer in the Madrid derby with 18 goals. On 15 December, Ronaldo scored his 500th club career goal in the 2-0 victory over Club America in the semi-finals of the FIFA Club World Cup. He then scored a hat-trick in the 4-2 win over Japanese club Kashima Antlers in the final. Ronaldo finished the tournament as top scorer with four goals and was also named the best player of the tournament. He won the Ballon d'Or for a fourth time in the inaugural Best FIFA Men's Player, a revival of the former FIFA World Player of the Year, largely owing to his success with Portugal in winning Euro 2016. 2017-18, a record fifth Champions League title and fifth Ballon d'Or.
In Real Madrid's 3-2 away win against Villarreal on February 27, 2017, Ronaldo overtook Hugo Sanchez as the most prolific penalty kick scorer in La Liga history. As a result of the penalty scored by Ronaldo, Real Madrid reached its 5,900th goal in the history of the league and became the first team to do so. On 12 April, in the 2016-17 UEFA Champions League quarterfinal against Bayern Munich, Ronaldo scored two goals in a 2-1 away win to give Madrid the win in the lead going into the second leg. The two goals saw him make history in becoming the first player to reach 100 goals in UEFA club competition. During the second leg of the quarterfinals, Ronaldo scored a perfect hat-trick and reached his 100th UEFA Champions League goal becoming the first player to do so as Real Madrid again defeated Bayern 4-2 after extra time. On 2nd of May, Ronaldo scored another hat-trick in the following Champions League match, as Real Madrid defeated Atletico Madrid 3-0 in the semi-final first leg. His hat-trick made him the first player to reach 50 goals in the knockout stage of the competition and also the only player that scored back-to-back hat-tricks in the UEFA Champions League knockout stage. On 17th of May, Ronaldo overtook Jimmy Greaves as the all-time top scorer in the top five European leagues, scoring a brace against Celta de Vigo. He finished the season with 42 goals in all competitions as he helped Madrid to win their first La Liga title since 2012 and the first team to win back-to-back finals in the Champions League era, the first to win consecutive European titles in the competition since Milan in 1989 and 1990, when the tournament was known as the European Cup. In the 2017 final, he scored two goals in the victory against Juventus and became the top goal scorer for the fifth straight season, and sixth overall, with 12 goals, while also becoming the first person to score in three finals in the Champions League era as well as reaching his 600th senior career goal. Real Madrid's title was its 12th, also known as La Duodecima, extending its record, and its third in four years. At the start of the 2017-18 season, Ronaldo scored Madrid's second goal in a 3-1 Supercopa de España first leg victory over Barcelona at Camp Nou. Having received a yellow card for taking his shirt off during his goal celebration, he was sent off for a second yellow card offense minutes later before he shoved the referee lightly to depict his dissatisfaction. He was issued a five-match suspension following the match. In his 400th game for Real Madrid, Ronaldo scored two goals away to Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League taking his club Cali to 411 goals. On 23rd of October, his performances in the first half of 2017 saw him claim his fifth FIFA Player of the Year award by receiving the Best FIFA Men's Player Award for the second consecutive year. On 6th of December, he became the first player to score in all six Champions League group stage matches with a curling strike at home to Borussia Dortmund. A day later, Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or for a fifth time receiving the award on the Eiffel Tower in Paris. On March 3, 2018, he scored two goals in a 3-1 home win over Hetafe, his first being his 300th La Liga goal and his 286th La Liga appearance, making him the fastest player to reach this landmark and only the second player to do so after Lionel Messi. On 18th of March, he reached his 50th career hat-trick, scoring four goals in a 6-3 win against Girona. On 3rd of April, Ronaldo scored the first two goals in a 3-0 away win against Juventus in the quarterfinals of the 2017-18 UEFA Champions League, with his second goal being an acrobatic bicycle kick. The goal, described as a PlayStation goal by Juventus defender Andrea Barzagli, garnered him a standing ovation from the Juventus fans in the stadium, as well as a plethora of plaudits from peers, pundits and coaches. The goal was also his 119th in European competition more than 465 other clubs which had participated in the competition, if he were a club, it would be the 10th highest scorer in Champions League history. He would score his 650th career goal in a 1-1 draw against Atletico Madrid on 8th of April. On 11th of April, he scored the goal Real Madrid needed to advance to the semi-final, in the second leg of the Champions League quarter-final at home to Juventus, from a 98th-minute injury time penalty in a 3-1 defeat with an overall 4-3 aggregate win. It was also his 10th goal against Juventus, a Champions League record against a single club. In the final of the tournament, on 26 May, Real Madrid defeated Liverpool 3-1, winning Ronaldo his fifth Champions League title as Real Madrid completed their third consecutive Champions League triumph, becoming the first team to do so. He finished as the top scorer of the tournament for the sixth consecutive season, ending the campaign with 15 goals. After the final, Ronaldo referred to his time with the Champions League winners in the past tense, sparking speculation that he could leave Real Madrid.
Juventus. 2018-19, debut season in Turin. After eight days of transfer speculation concerning Italian club Juventus, on July 10, 2018, Ronaldo signed a four-year contract with them after completing the €100 million Euros transfer, which included an additional €12 million Euros in other fees and solidarity contributions to Ronaldo's youth clubs. The transfer was the highest ever for a player over 30 years old, and the highest ever paid by an Italian club. Upon signing, Ronaldo cited his need for a new challenge as his rationale for departing Real Madrid, but later on he attributed the transfer to the lack of support he felt was shown by club president Florentino Perez. Ronaldo made his official debut for Juventus in their opening Serie A match on 18 August, a 3-2 away win over Chievo. On 16 September, his fourth appearance for Juventus, he scored his first goal, which was immediately followed by a second, in a 2-1 home win over Sassuolo. The latter was the 400th league goal of his career. On 19 September, in his first Champions League match for Juventus, he was sent off in the 29th minute for violent conduct the first time in 154 Champions League appearances, in an eventual 2-0 away win over Valencia, and was awarded a one-game suspension. On 7 November, he scored his first Champions League goal for Juventus in a 2-1 home loss to his former club Manchester United. On 27 November, he became the first player in history to win 100 Champions League matches, setting up Mario Mandzukic's winner in a 1-0 home victory over Valencia, which sealed Juventus's passage to the knockout stages of the competition. On 1 December, he scored his 10th Serie A goal of the season from the penalty spot, netting the final goal in a 3-0 away win over rivals Fiorentina. With this goal, Ronaldo became the first Juventus player since John Charles in 1957 to score 10 goals in his first 14 league games for the club. After placing second in both the UEFA Men's Player of the Year and the Best FIFA Men's Player for the first time in three years, behind Luka Modric, Ronaldo performances in 2018 also saw him voted runner-up for the 2018 Ballon d'Or on 3 December, finishing once again behind his former Real Madrid teammate.